Hello everyone. If you are new here, my name is Rebecca and um, I do homemaking videos. I also share recipes, um, basically ones that are usually gluten free and or dairy free because we have sensitivities in my family. Um, so this video is going to be a party prep video for my son's first birthday. We decided to go with the Mickey Mouse theme because that was one of the few things that he actually showed interest in and I knew it was going to be super easy because Mickey Mouse has been around forever. We didn't have to worry about like not having decorations or anything like that available. Um, so the first thing that I am doing is this is like two days before the party. I'm starting to make Rice Krispie treats. Um, I saw this idea on Pinterest. I'm not sure if I saved the link. If I did, I will go ahead and link that specific one down below. However, I may not have it. Um, so the idea is that you make the Rice Krispie treats and then you use a cookie cutter. Um, and cut them into Mickey Mouse heads and then you decorate them. So I uh, I bought a giant container of excuse me, a variety of sandwich cutters on Amazon and I'll go ahead and link that in the description box and one of them actually was a Mickey Mouse head. Excuse me. That's how I knew that this was going to be easy because if you can buy something generic like that um, on Amazon, I, I felt like buying decorations was going to be no big deal and it wasn't. Um, I'll also link like the decoration kits and stuff that I bought from Amazon down below. Um, it was super easy and it came with so much stuff. Um, I didn't even use all of it and it wasn't that expensive and then uh, these rice crispy treats that i'm making i am using non-dairy butter i believe that it's um avocado oil based I'm not 100 percent sure though but the rice krispies tasted fine there was no like taste difference um but they were gluten free and dairy free So, as I'm sure you're noticing, my daughter loves to help me with everything, um, especially cooking or like putting the decorations together or anything like that. Um, she loves to be wherever I am, doing whatever I do, um, which is great. Um, and then I am wearing pajama pants in this video. I don't normally wear pajama pants all the time. However, on this particular day, my endometriosis was flaring up really bad and I was super bloated and I had really bad cramps and I was just not feeling wearing normal pants. So, um, you're going to see in this video some of the decorations that I got and put together. Um, my camera battery died quite a few times um, as I'm editing this. It was like three and a half hours of camera footage. I'm speeding up, obviously. You don't want to sit and watch me for three and a half hours. Um, so that's a lot of work. However, I did not get everything in there. Um, I know for certain that I didn't get the cake decorating in there and I'll try to insert a picture of it somewhere in here um, 
my mom actually helped me with the cake when she got to my house on the day of the birthday party because it still didn't have frosting on it because I was making breakfast foods. Um, so I did not record that because I didn't want to put my mom on the spot. And then um, another, the other fun idea that I used with the cookie pops, that was also an idea that I found on Pinterest. Um, although they used the candy melts for ears, and I thought it would be a better idea to use mini Oreos because they do have those. However, that did make it so that I couldn't do, like, make them gluten-free. So that was unfortunate. However, they still tasted good. And then when I do the birthday parties, I typically put most of the decorations in like the dining room area and then I have a giant baby gate up and that is the area for the kids to play and destroy because they are going to that's what they do um and I try to keep the decorations separated from them where like if they're in the dining room with us then they are being supervised um which after the party starts, I don't really care as much if they destroy the balloon arch because they did do that. Um, <laughs> but I wanted it to look nice so that when people got there, everything was still put together. Um, our house is kind of laid out in a weird way where we have like a giant opening from the dining room to the living room and then the kitchen actually has a door that closes it off. However, we took the door off because that's not something that we want. Um, I will say one thing about the decorations was that, unfortunately, um, the balloon arch that we were given, it did not come with balloon tape, which if you've ever done a balloon arch and used balloon tape, it's amazing. And you probably know what I'm going to say here, but this particular balloon arch, the only bad thing I have to say about this like decoration package, this particular balloon arch did not even come with balloon tape. It came with glue dots. And I've, I've tried to use glue dots to put like balloons on the walls and stuff like that with previous birthday parties. Um, it doesn't work. Like, I end up, you'll see, I end up taping all of the balloons to the ribbon that was supposed to be for the, like, the, uh, not a banner, what is it, backdrop. And it was kind of a nightmare, but it looked good. Or it looked okay-ish after um, I was done so at least that was good So I don't know um, if you've noticed, but like this is a long process um, for the Rice Krispie Treats and the Cookie Pops. Like I had to keep going and putting them on my foyer so that the candy melts would harden to hold them together. Um, 
and then I ended up just storing them in a container and wrapping them or wrapping them in plastic wrap um, or saran wrap or whatever uh, to get them to s hold their shape and be okay for the party. Um, and then I did bake the cake the night before. I always like to do that. Um, I would like to decorate it the night before too, but that didn't happen this particular night. And then um, I am going to also do a walkthrough of the entire um, party. This was after <coughs> the birthday party happened, so it does not look as nice as it did when we started. Um, but I forgot to do the walkthrough. You can see my balloon arch fell down, um, where the kids pulled it down actually. But you can see like most everything is still intact. Um, I didn't put like the food out or anything. I should have taken a picture or a little video or something. I just didn't get to it. I had almost every single person that was invited to the birthday party came early and I was not expecting that and also um, the past few birthday parties that we've thrown most of the people who were invited didn't come due to various reasons being sick or whatever having to work so we invited a lot of people but we didn't expect a lot of people to come and a lot of people came and it was wonderful I loved it um, it just made like trying to do any type of recording or anything um, not happen so thank you guys so much for watching my video um, I hope that you liked it and I hope that this gives you inspiration if you are interested in doing any kind of party prep um, for your children or family members and or friends in the future um, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.